Hello, today I'd like to have a look at this uh, Hewlett Packard function generator 33120A. I picked it up on eBay and it was described as untested. So let's test the thing. All right, I plugged it in. Let's try to turn it on. All right, it powers up. The fan is a little noisy. Uh, well, let's try the keypad. Okay, keys seem to work. Amplitude, 100 millivolts peak to peak, offset, zero. Well, keypad looks fine as well. Uh, what about the encoder? Encoder works as well. Well, let's hook it up to the scope. All right, excuse the noise. The scope also has a very noisy fan. So I connected the function gen to the scope using just straight coax cable and I see nothing at all. However, uh, I noticed and if I terminate the input not to 50 ohm as it should be, in this case but to one meg then I see some uh, signal however for that I needed to crank up the amplitude on the function gen all the way to 10 volts peak to peak and uh, here I try to adjust the frequency so frequency adjustment works and uh, Amplitude adjustment works works too. And when I try to change it to from sine wave to square wave, well it's distorted but we see the change, which is a good sign. So it seems to me that the co core functionality works fine however the output signal is very very low very weak so must be something wrong with the output circuitry so uh, let's take the thing apart and have a look all right i took off the cover and look at the quality of this thing Hewlett Packard or Agilent or nowadays Keysight, they are changing the name again. They are famous for this high quality instruments. Look at this, it's just beautiful. Okay, I don't see anything obviously wrong here, like nothing is burnt or no leaked capacitors, uh, nothing is missing on the first glance. However, I do have a service manual with the full schematic of this thing. And I also have a working unit, which I also fixed some time ago. I don't have a video for that. I didn't start making videos at that time. So, uh, I'll have a look at the schematic and see what I can start probing. Alright, I printed out the output circuit and have a look at this. Here is a fuse, it's half an amp fuse on the output. So I suggest starting from this guy. And I found it on the board. Uh, let's see. This is the fuse. Uh, let me zoom in. So 
here it is. Let me measure the guy. All right. Trusty fluke. Nothing. Okay. I shorted the thing for now using this wire and let's test again hook it up to the scope check this out so the input is terminated now to 50 ohms as it should with this straight connection with the coax cable and I see 100 millivolts peak to peak 1 kilohertz and uh, now I adjust the frequency 2 kilohertz and the scope shows 2 kilohertz let's change the amplitude uh, from 100 to let's say 200 okay 200 millivolts peak to peak so the thing works just fine so I need to replace that fuse and put it back together okay I desoldered this fuse and I didn't have to even disassemble anything as there is access uh, from the bottom to this board and uh, I think this fuse is this Pico 2 series of very fast acting fuses. Uh, so there is this data sheet by Little Fuse Inc. All right, I need to go shop around. Here we are. A day later I picked up a couple of these fuses in the local electronics store and they are exactly the same and turned out they have tons of them for 62 cents a piece and I always prefer to have extra if parts are cheap enough so it's time to put one in it's back together and seems to work properly so now we see the default state when we turn it on. It shows one kilohertz sine wave. Let's try a few things. Square wave, sawtooth, ramp, noise. It, for some reason it switches from frequency to amplitude. Well, because there is no frequency to, to this noise frequency just doesn't make sense then arbitrary here is this frequency is back uh, and uh, here is a list of this arbitrary things this is the first one sync and cardiac then exponential fall exponential rise negative ramp and that's it we are back to sync okay let's go back to sine wave and uh, let's try to adjust frequency and that's fine Let's try amplitude, 100 millivolts peak to peak, and this measurement on the scope confirms this. Uh, and frequency is 18 kilohertz, and the scope measures the same thing, so everything looks fine. Uh, offset, let's try changing the offset a little. Works just fine beautiful so uh, this time 
it turned out to be very simple problem and very easy fix and I got myself another great instrument by Hewlett Packard or Agilent or Keysight. Alright, thanks for watching, bye!